I'm so tapped up, and let's play Burly Men at Sea. This is a game I thought I would be interested. I've been hearing about it for a while, and it's one of those games that I, you know, I figured I would really like. It's a quiet adventure. That's the, those are the sort of words I love to hear describing a game. Um, but it's free on PlayStation Plus now, um, so I figured I would just dive in. I've not played this. Have not done to. Ooh, oh, it just goes right into the story. There's a little, well. We'll see the gameplay later. Oh, what's this? Calls one of the fishermen. Some kind of rubbish in the nets? Totally what burly men at sea sound like, right? Just love the, uh, the graphic style. Let me turn this up for myself. Bit here. Useless sea chart, grumbles the hasty one. Nothing on it but our own island. A mast cast out to sea with no purpose. Must be more to it, argues the steady one. Is there just two? No, there's more. The brave one brightens. A mystery, I. That's what you sound like when you're at sea. Folks in the village may know something of it. We'll head back. Is this? Oh, there we go. There's some the music. I was gonna say it's very quiet. I think it's just very atmospheric music. Just ah, I love me some of that that flat kind of look. Ah, there's three burly men. So it's like Lost Vikings, okay. So I think this was originally a touch game, like a touch screen game, but I'm sure it's moderately playable on, uh, playing this on PS4, like I said. It's on PS Plus. Three burly men. Look at, look at, those are some beards. Oh, here's some, oh. I, for, I could go for some pretzels right now. I kind of like how you, you use the right stick and you kind of move to the thing. Get the pretzels. Oh, it's kind of like, um, kind of reminds me of Nog, um, kind of a point-and-click, like, toy thing. Anyway, lady, do you got, do you know things? Well, if it isn't the brother's beard, what can I do for you fellas? She's Rita Repulsa, apparently. After 10,000 years, I'm free! Sunny Beard prepares to speak, but the question is intercepted by Hasty Beard. Know anything about maps? He found one. I no ordinary oh I an no ordinary one exclaims Bravebeard. It's mysterious. The loaf shaped woman continues, speaking working silently for a moment, then pauses to look up. Mystery, is it? I'm afraid I'm not the most imaginative guy, boys. She is a pen she is a human pencil. Look at those look at that beautiful pirouette she is doing. We're old friends, the ordinary and I. Shut up, Twitter. I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing things. Hold on. <laughs> well, I don't know why, I, I'm just gonna turn off sounds into it. I don't know why I leave that on sometimes. <laughs> anyway. Oh, get the pretzels. I love the like, bread noises. The little fire. Can I go there? No. I love when uh, I love when you just mess around with all the stuff in a point-and-click game. Like I said, like Nog is fantastic for that. That kind of tactile, just playing around stuff. Hello, Mr. Bird. It's like being able to play like one of those I Spy books. I I love those things. And like, where's Waldo? <laughs> human noises is what I call that. I love I love human noises for sound effects. Is this an all human noise audio track? The man glances up at their approach and returns to his work with a grunt. Mind if we interrupt for a moment? Says Steady Beard. See, we caught something strange this morning and. Thought you might know something of it. It's mysterious, adds Brave Beard. It's a brief pause. The man stops hammering. He grunts. Hey, wait. Fears he has nothing further to add. But it's mysterious! Look guys, Jinkies, it's a mystery! Aw oh, guys, there's no such thing as mysterious. Well, let's go find some ridiculous striped pants, shall we? Well, let's go over to this house. Mr. Bird. I don't think, I don't think this is one of those houses you go in. I think it's one of those houses that are just kind of there. Can I go into the sea? Get in the sea. Okay, 
and we're not allowed to get in the sea. Ironic, considering the name of the game, but... I just love a game that just gives you the good vibes, you know? Just happy chillness. More games need that, and that's why I figured I would really like this. I don't know why I didn't play it before, but hey. I'm not one of those types to be like, Wow, that game is for like 2017. <laughs> Who plays old video games? That's like, Giga Retro. I only play games that came out in the last three seconds. Nah. I, no. Uh, any game. I'll play any game. If there was a game on Atari that didn't suck, I would play it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to any Atari fans, but I mean, Tempest is alright. I mean, there's a couple that are alright, but like, there are better versions of those on other things. I don't like- Atari's a little bit too far for me. NES is kind of the cusp of what I consider a little bit too retro. NES, lots of good stuff, but it really shows its age. But like, a game that came out a year ago, like, Oh no, Tap Tap, you shouldn't be doing videos of that! It's like, I don't, I don't care, man. I'm gonna play good games. That's what the channel's for. When you watch my channel, I want you to see something cool and something interesting and something that ideally you haven't seen before. And that includes older stuff. A sea chart, eh? The young man shrugs. Can't say no much about him. With these landlocked legs of mine. Old fella next door in the coffee shop might have answers. Alright. Play me the song of your people. Is this the coffee shop? This entire town is on a dock. Very high, very close to sea level. Not very, not very climate change friendly, but whatever. Are you, are you Mr. Coffee Man? I think this guy's a sailor. He might be a sailor with a beard like that. You're not allowed to be a sailor without a beard like that. You'll be wanting a drink in a seat by the fire, I expect. The men cast a dubious glance at the shiny stools before complying with a shrug. Behind them stands a friendly whir of mechanical sounds. Oh, that's a coffee machine. I can do human music sounds too. Human sounds. He's got a he's got a trick leg there. I not ironically love just just human noises. Just the honesty of like that's just, that's coffee noises. Old man soon approaches with his theming stray. Single large espresso, roast it yourself. He declares. They stare blankly. Coffee. Relaxing, the men sip cautiously, eyes widen. Not my, they're not hipster beard, beardos. Now, ah, what have you found? He chuckles at their stunned faces. Observation, that's all. Folks come in with questions, and yours is playing the role in your head. Steady Beard grins. Aye, then you are the man we want to see. He unrolls the parchment between them. All lean in. The old man delib deliberates for a moment before speaking. Seems what you have here is a variety of map that brings about adventurous deeds and heroic fates. It's the animated kind of map, my favorite. Do you know how much that animated paper costs? That's right, Parker. That's right. I'm doing things, honey. Aye, Brave Beard leaps from his seat to pound Steady Beard on the back. Brave Beard needs to take his, like, he needs to maintain his zen. But there's nothing on it! Remarks Hasty Beard flatly, eyeing the old man. Why male models? The old man grins with his, at his skeptical look. Aye, it's a worthless adventure that brings with the unknown. This map has tales yet to tell. Old man voice is just slightly modified old woman voice. It's got that trick leg. Never been the same since, since the war. He turns to walk away. Ho oh, there! What sort of tales? asks Brave Beard. That depends, replies the old man. What sort you choose? Crosses the room, disappearing through a doorway behind the counter. Look at that dainty... Look at him holding that that cup. That is art. I really do like this art style. <laughs> Steady Beard coughs awkwardly. Neat. Guess we'll be going then. Thanks for the, the suppresso. He tries. There's no answer. Thanks for your input heating system. I hate doing... I hate recording in winter. I got a humidifier I gotta turn off. There's heating that I can't really turn off. Um, there's... I was doing my laundry when I... I finished up Spyro. I had to turn off my laundry. I'm gonna have to redo it. Um, 
Can I go? Can I get in the sea, finally? There's still nothing on my map, but I guess that doesn't matter. Did I go in the barn? Question mark? I don't know. Oh, it is a barn. Look at those chickens! They're like the Twitter bird, they're made out of circles. Which is objectively and psychologically the most superior way to make a brand. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google like Twitter brand circle. It's the, the Twitter bird is made out of like 18 billion circles and they were like super proud of it. For no reason, that is a f fuzzy beast right there. Bring beers sidles over to the chewing cow. You wouldn't know anything about adventure, would you, old girl? Perfect tends not to wait for an answer. <laughs> well. I guess that's all the info I'm getting. Can I walk around? No? Okay. Where's my thing? <laughs> Human noises. I like them. Can I get some fish? I can just kind of upset it. Do I just leave? I guess? I guess we just leave. Alright. <laughs> Human music. The audio design is adorable, I love it. <laughs> sea rats, remarks Hasty Beard, squinting. What do you reckon they're after? Sunny Beard frowns. I don't like it. What's the feel of mischief about it? Mischief away, grins Beard. Brave Beard, loosing the sails. Oh, Mr. Mr. Whale, please. M Mr. Whale. Oh, Mr. Whale, that's not going to be nice to your trachea. Oh, Mr. Whale. Not again. It's dark inside the whale, but the men appear to be intact. A flickering ring of firelight cuts into the darkness before them. Hi, Parker. Yeah. Whoa. S -s Spooky mysteries. Jinkies. Hello. Did you get... Did, is Jonah here? Hello. Great barnacled one. Hello? Are, are you my spirit guide? Join us, friends, from whence you come. That's one of the nymphs. Uh-oh, nymphs. We were sailing... We were sailing for adventure and heroic feats. This colossal whale fellow scooped us up. Oh, that was that was steady beard, not brave beard. Whatever. I'm gonna get mix up voices a lot. It's very discouraging. A man can't properly have an adventure at sea indoors. Adds brave beard. I mean, you're still technically at sea. I mean, there's no argument about, about that. Be calm, friend. Imagine the wave. Become the wave. Advises the second nymph. The others exchange mellow glances, nodding approval. They're hippies. Oh no, let's get out of here. We can't be burly around these hippies. Can't say I follow the sentiment in that remark, comments Hasty Beard. If you advise that, hop off this vessel. We'll be on our way. Just like, hop out the mouth. The great barnacled one. Great barnacled one brings us to a place we could not go ourselves. Death? But those unwillingly may depart through the fountain of the fatalists. Adds the nymph, gesturing sadly towards what appears to be a hatch. Ah, the whale hatch. I remember reading about that in biology. And our ship? She can't fit through that. Fear not. Once the great barnacle one reaches the place of promise, you'll open wide the gate, and all that may go out as came in. So either we escape with no ship, or wait for the creature to open his maw. The nymphs not grand nod grandly. Time flows quickly in contemplation of the Great One's splendor. He who chooses the path of waiting is welcomed by here by the fire. Braybeard's face shows alarm. Think we'd uh, prefer to look around first. Nymphs begin to sway, but all is darkness beyond the circle of the Great One's love. You must first seek the enlightenment of... Found it! Interrupts Hasty Beard, grabbing a torch from the fire beyond them. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. I guess the hatch is this a ways. Do 
I mean like the blow- oh. It's the swallow hole. Hello fish. He's just- I like he's just an ecosystem. Onto himself. Hello Mr. Fish Man. Well. Meat noises. They must have had a lot of fun. Oh. The inner u u uvula. You know, whales have dozens of redundant uvulas for, you know, emergencies. That'll be our exit, observes Hasty Beard eagerly. Give her a tug. We aren't properly... F we aren't properly floated, contends a nervous steady beard. We can't just go about tossing ourselves overboard without certain assurances. Rubbish, grunts, grunts brave beard. Give me water, and I'll teach you to carry me. What? Well, I guess we're tugging on it. <laughs> Freedom! Splort. The Fountain of the Faithless. I wonder if it genuinely is a different thing if you just wait around? Give me the water, he says, growls Hasty Beard. Well, we've got water, all right. And a spare. Any other requests? Brave Beard aims a fish at his head. Shaking his head, Suddy Beard begins to resolutely swim. <clears throat> the human noises are extremely on point tonight. Well... Like that Simpsons episode. I'm in a very Simpsons mood, so I may. <laughs> That's, I, I can't handle the human noises. I love it. I call this Gurgle Step. This isn't even the first Gurgle Step I've heard. This Gurgle Step in uh, LSD Dream Emulator, which those were really fun streams. If you haven't seen one of those, uh, check those out. Just search for Tap Tap LSD. I promise it's not instructions on where to buy LSD online, it's just me playing a video game. Um, I should do another one of those. I never did finish that quote-unquote game. It's... It, you can't... there is a finish to it, which is why I said that, but... I don't know exactly what happens, but you got to complete like a whole year in-game. Which takes a really long time. I'm only like halfway through, I think. I need to go back to it. Keep swimming, buddies. I do not, I do not, I could not do the sea life. I go out on a boat trip once a year, and it's, you know, like a, well, we work at a quarry, and uh, I'm in the IT department, I don't like to move rocks around myself. Is there, am I supposed to do a thing, or? This is going on a while, but man, maybe I'm supposed to keep swimming. Um, we used to travel up, we used barges to push around, you know, uh, bring large quantities of stuff up and down the river. Um, we used to be able to use the, uh, the, the a barge on there. We call it the party barge. Just uh, hook it onto the, uh, the the regular barge and just get pushed up the river. We would do it once a year for fun. Um, it's been too busy the last couple years though, so we've just been doing a standard like local cruise kind of deal. Is this... I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Fully <gasps> there it is! Okay. Oh, ye of little faith. Land ho! Steady Beard suddenly shout. It brings the company to a halt. An island? Oh, they had noticed it before. I'm concerned by this mystery. I think you had to, like, look back for that to appear, because it didn't seem like it was popping in, but, you know, give us some story time, you know? Unconcerned by this mystery, the men splash frantically toward it, clamber up, panting. Covering first, Hasty Beard stands, surveying the bald hill around them. Not much to it, he observes. It's dry land in any case. Nice place to not die on. Aye, but what sort of land? Steady Beard bends to poke the ground. She gives slightly beneath his finger. It is no rock, nor dirt, he pokes it again. It's another whale, isn't it? Water begins suddenly to boil, the island itself shuddering in an ominous rumble. Brave Beard leaps forward with a grin. Dragging a terrified steady beard. 
This hath the makings of a heroic adventure, or I'm a sea cucumber. Uh oh. It's a giant jellyfish. Hi, buddy. This seems perhaps not ideal. Get the get the thing. Throw throw rocks at him? Oh oh no! Which which beard was that? I don't remember. I don't know which beard is which, honestly. Which what, what do? <laughs> He's just trying to wipe off his head. Look at I love his face. No, 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 no. Give me that. Do I just have to get captured or I'm confused? Right, just stay over there, I guess, and see what happens. No. Go over there. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um. Oh, he's angry now. Aw, oh, dang it. I specifically requested the opposite of this. Vengeance satisfied. Look, buddy. We're just trying to find some, some land to sit on and chill out. Creature drags the struggling men deeper beneath the waves, finally tossing them aside in disgust. Vengeance satisfied, it swims away. <clears throat> I'm just kind of chilling down here. Men float dazed, not sure for the moment which direction is up. Nice day, comments a passing seal. They stare as it swims on. <laughs> Thanks, seal. Voice breaks in this bit of panic. Are you in need of assistance? Mr. Seal, please. It's the seal. Mr. Seal, save us. Brothers flail, now beginning to gulp water. Right then, barks the seal. It's gone as quickly as it came. The men begin to sink despondently. As their eyes darken, the men seem to hear singing. Coming nearer and nearer. Yeah, that's the asphyxiation. Oh no. Mystical oxygen sphere? We've, we have become seals. Okay. The first seal speaks. The transformation The transformation will hold until you reach the surface. Okay. We must keep together or risk breaking the spell early. And now, large gentlemen, we part for about. Perfectly coordinated dives, the seals disappear back into the depths. Well, now we're seals. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Honestly, we are burly men under the sea, and seem to have found ourselves in quite a pickle, or a sea cucumber, if you prefer. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned. I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to Burly Men at Sea. This game is a little bit shorter than I expected exactly. Um, I'm not sure how crazy short, um, considering I, you know, read everything out and all that stuff. But if I have to combine the- oh, get back- no, buddy! buddy. No, 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 get, get your booty pipe back in here! I guess hasty one is too fast and the other one's less so. If it's too short, I'll put it into one video. Um. Let's see. Heedless of the warning, the burly men spread out as they swim until the spell of the week. I specifically requested the opposite of this. Well, it lasted for a couple minutes. The feudal men make a last feudal effort to service, but they finally sink exhausted. Oops. Did I do it bad? In need of assistance. Request. Mr. Fish! Mr. Fish! Look, man, I, I know I said some rude things in inside the, 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 the whale, but please. You gotta help me. You gotta help me with your weird mouth. I mean, your regular mouth, Mr. Narwhal. Look, those seals were jerks. You, you, you seem like a cool guy, M Mr. Mr. Narwhal. You don't even care, do you? Oh, Mr. Jellyfish. Please help, but without like enwrapping me in your stingy little tendrils. I love abstract. Jellyfish are just so beautiful. Uh, they just make perfect like abstract things. Um, I guess we're just going down. I assume there's like alternate ways that this can go. But I think 
We'll just find one ending. I'll, 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 I'll confirm this. I don't want spoilers. Um, I'll, I'll confirm after this. And if there's other ways and people are interested, I might try some other ways to play. Well met, bearded travelers. The voice is deep. Musical. I, don't, I can't do a musical voice, so that's as musical as you're getting. Um, hello? What is you? Sea serpent? Abstract art? Okay. Uh, hello, stammers Braybeard. Odd. The absurdity of underwater speech only adds to the wonder apparent on his face. I was about to comment, how are you talking, but okay. You see much this day. She continues, smiling. The men nod unnecessarily. Yet you have not seen all. She peers at each of them. Other paths lie untrodden behind you. But isn't your hearts to seek those paths? Another day awaits. See, I knew, I knew, I figured there would be other ways to, like, do things. Hasty beard glazes his throat nervously. Pardon my interruption, ma'am, but uh, we have no longer any vessels to seek, with which to seek them. Lost at sea she was. The silvery laugh ripples through the water within around them. You have traveled far without her, have you not? But do not be troubled. That which is lost may yet be found. May we meet again at the end of another path. Climbing her glimmering head in farewell, the creature slips silently into darkness. Don't try this at home, kids. If you go in this deep in the water, you pretty much just die. The quiet that follows, the men find themselves still sinking. Like that anchor icon on screen. Bearded travelers. I keep getting them chivos. Is this Atlantis? Oh no, it's just rocks. Mr. Krabs! Are you feeling it now? Aren't thou feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? He is feeling it now. Look at his little, look at his big meaty claws. I love them. I want to keep seeing the crabs. Come on. Look at us do that stanky leg. Kind of our leg like rotate. It looks like our legs like rotate along like a assembly line or something. I guess we're just walking to the surface. We're like Sonic. We can just do that. It's fine. I'm more aptly Mega Man since we haven't died yet. Hello, Mr. Sun. How you doing? Ah, desert island figures. At least we won't drown. We'll just, you know, die of dehydration or something. I see a, I see a thing on the beach. Can you get the pearl? No? Uh, ooh! L uh, puffins! How you doing, buddies? I hear, like, uneasy noises. But click on the puffins. It's the puffin. Lend me your secrets. Oh! It's like pretty birch trees. And a giant moose! Hello, Mr. Moose. A room with a moose! Alright, stay away from the moose. Those will kill you. Those will kill your family. Stay the hell away from meese. It's a house! I think this is the beginning of Dear Esther. I love human noises. I want my life to be narrated by human noises. Um. Wait a minute. You don't mean... Old man! Thought you'd find a way to that door eventually. The old man greets them. How could you have possibly known that? The familiar has a way of making itself new when you look at it sideways. Never seen that part of the island before, I bet. Men shake their heads. Well, that's what happens when I'm presented a 2D plane, old man. Still have the map? He questions. Steady Beard nods, silently passing it to him. Oh, it lists all of our adventure things, and you can like... I bet you can like go back to like things to find the other branching points. I see you managed to man these adventurous deeds. Did you meet her? Yeah. If you mean like a big silver fish. I mean, not silver fish, but like... You know what I mean? I, Braybeard is the first of the brothers to speak. Magnificent she was, like the serum of old tales. But she told us we've more to see. 
Aye, it'll be when you're ready for another go, the old man gestures at the books. Shelves are full of tales like yours, all with paths left untold. It's a twinkle in his eyes. I've contributed to a few in my time. You see, what's left is writ unwritten in one story. You can fill others. If you have an inclination to sail again, have another look at the shelf. Burly Men at Sea, Study Beard reads aloud. Not a bad title, that. What's all this numerical business on the spine? And how did... He's the sly look. That's another mystery. Maybe the curiosity for it. Mm. One last thing, continues the old man. Don't mind telling you now that I was the one who sent your bottle out to sea. I have another to be tossed out for the next curious soul. Will you do the honor? I wonder if that number is like how many people have played this game on this platform and like I send out the next bottle to the next numbered person. <laughs> that was one path of Burly Man at Sea. <laughs> I'll just let you enjoy these human noises for a moment. Applied sounds? Well, I did like the human sounds. Localization from Bato. So I was kind of right. I was wondering if there was like an option being presented when we got. <laughs> Cracks me up. Uh, when we were presented the the whale thing, being patient and stuff. I'm not good at being patient though, as one might have noticed. Quiet Adventure by Brains and Brain. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll put that in one video. It's a little bit... I'd have to cut the original video to kind of make them both the same length. But whatever. Now, that was really meant at sea. And maybe I'll do another adventure. Maybe I'll just play it all myself. Um, I guess, let me know what you thought. Um, I always, a reminder, I always read my comments, so always feel free to leave comments that aren't, you know, stupid. Um, and always, you know, if there's a question to be asked or if you have, you know, thoughts, you know, feel free to comment. Let me know what you thought. Um, that is Burly Men and Sea. I really enjoyed it. That was pretty cool. Oops, hold up, hold up. I, I went back here and checked out the book. And it turns out it's a little bit more, more upfront than I thought. Hasty Beard removes a small card from the book, squinting at it. Enter code at burlymenatsea.com slash mystery, he reads. Eh, sounds like a load of bilge to me. So, turns out there is a website you can enter that in at. And I guess it adds a full book. I thought it was like referencing the way that other people play the game. But it actually, every time you complete the game, it'll add a book to there. What's the, uh, what's the point of that? We'll take a peek right here at burlymenatsea.com here slash mystery. All right, our code was 20468. Here's the secret. A book, a real hardbound copy of the story you just told. What are you gonna flip through in dog ear and put it on yourself? That's why the code? Because of the many tales that you could have told, you pick this one. Codes for other stories, and maybe you want to tell those too. But right now, this is yours. You can use it as an illustrated storybook bound in a debossed fabric hardcover. If you choose, you can enter a different Tales code. Well, Matt Traveler. So, you can get... <laughs> like, a quiet advert or adventure. I thought it said quiet advertisement, which is actually what cracked me up. Um, but... Yeah, you can make a little book out of the thing. That's, that's really cute. And so I'm sure there's, you know pre-made selections of which, you know, each story, and that's why there's, you know, the little five-digit code. So that that is neat. I just figured, <laughs> it figures, I was just rendering the video over here, and my new video, I got Sony Vegas uh, 15, or not Sony anymore, Magix Vegas uh, Pro 15, and it's so much faster than my old one, I can't believe it. The GPU editing actually works, and the old video just rendered before I could even, um, Need to make this update to it. But yeah, uh, I just thought that was neat enough to add. I think we'll leave Burly Men at Sea for now. If I feel like doing another adventure, maybe we'll do another video. But for now, 
that was our adventure. So we'll just, we'll just leave it at that.